human face you usually see two curves on your face one close to your forehead and one close to your lips which curve you would like to see with you or your family members and answer is certainly the lower curve which is close to your lips which indicates happiness and you want to remove the curve which is on forehead i professor chetan mure along with my team we are developing certain learning techniques which removes the curve on your forehead and which gains the curve which is close to your uh, lips my name is professor chetan mure and i am not here to share my success story with you but i am here to share your story with you whenever we meet a child a simple question we ask to a child and that simple question is what is your good name and after listening to a innocent answer from him or her the next question which we ask to him or her is the most difficult question on the planet and that is what you want to become in life what is your aim on most of the occasions a person who is asking this question is unsure about his or her own aim we get all the relevant information on google but do we get information about how we have been manufactured by the god the answer is certainly no and that is the reason why it becomes very difficult for us to understand the purpose of life and to set our aim there exist a very thin line between certain terms the term number 1 is problem and challenge there is a very thin line i will elaborate it with a example suppose you and your loved ones if you are sitting in a if you are going in a jungle and suddenly a tiger comes it's a challenge in front of you but if you overlook the challenge if you don't take any decision and tiger comes so close to you and catches your hand now this is not a challenge now the challenge has come in front of you in the form of problem so keep accepting challenges similarly there is a thin line between success and happiness and most of the people misjudge success as happiness success is your accomplishment success is your destination but happiness is a practice happiness is a feeling of pleasure and i am here to give you certain techniques which can make you happy there are very small techniques and number one source of happiness is to understand the people in and around you dermatographics is a scientific method to decode the brain's potential and to understand the personalities n number of psychologist by studying thousands of behavioral pattern and personalities they have developed a concept of disc profile that is every human being who is on the planet belongs to one of this category and the categories are d stands for dominant personality i stands for influential personality s stands for steady personality and c stands for compliant personality now slowly we will learn the patterns which are developed on your fingers which will indicate you belong to which personality your primary personality is indicated on your left thumb which plays a very vital role and if your left thumb fingerprint is like loop which you are seeing on the screen you belong to steady personality these people are very easy going they are very royal and loyal these people usually they stay away from conflicts these people they are very cooperative and the people belonging to steady personality in any organization every year they want to change their job every year they want to change their career but it becomes very difficult for them to step out so this is a peculiar peculiar behavior of steady people the next personality you can check your left thumb and if there are these type of fingerprints 
round shaped world we usually call this fingerprint as world type and these are the people who are dominant in nature they are very straightforward they are very blunt in nature they are very ambitious they are very independent and these people are the one who who are rebellious who will challenge their bosses in organization these people usually do well in administration and it is recommended that these people should go for business itself the next fingerprint which which we are seeing on the screen you see double loop and double whirl and these type of fingerprints they are called as compliance personality now this personality is of dual nature usually these people are dual in nature usually they stay in a confused state of mind these people are the one who are very much investigative they focus more on details and these people they can do better in laws for them if why is not clear how becomes extremely difficult so it is recommended for these people that they should be uh, a compliance officer or they should do job in quality control department where a lot of investigation is needed the next personality and the last personality which i am going to share with you if you have this type of fingerprints simple or tinted arc on your left thumb then you are influential these people are defensive they are party lovers they are attention seekers and at any cost these people want to get notice they can do any orthodox activity to get notice so you, you may have seen or you may are, uh, you may have compared these four personalities who might be present in and around you now to further elaborate these four type of personalities as we all are indians and we have started listening to the stories when we were in mother's womb all indians they love stories so i will elaborate this four type of personalities and their reaction to a particular situation in the form of story now suppose these four friends belonging to each personality they are sitting in a garden and they are enjoying a cold drink and suddenly a orthodox situation is generated a snakes come to the party what would be the reaction of this each personalities dominant person will try to conquer the situation and he will go after snake and will try to kill the snake a compliant person who is a dual thinker now will have a problem whether to support dominant person or whether i should run away from the garden and this confused behavior of compliant person will irritate the dominant person which might result into heated discussion later on a steady person will slowly analyze the situation and will appreciate the efforts taken by dominant person to conquer the situation and he will appreciate rest of the colleagues also now interesting thing about influential person the influential person will observe the phenomena will not be the part of any activity over there he will prepare a beautiful story of it to be shared with rest of the colleagues in the market and he will make sure that he was the hero in that story now if there would have been three i people sitting in that garden we would have got to listen three stories part a part b and part 3 where all the heroes were different so this is how different personalities they react to different situation after doing a lot of research after studying lot of behavioral patterns and after meeting lot of people we came to a conclusion about compatibility i would like to make it a point that the compatibility is different the social compatibility is different and working compatibility is totally different in the cases if dominant and steady person if they go and start working together what would be the scenario their work compatibility is best there will be some productive thing coming out of that but if they go out of box and if they start discussing on social topic now the compatibility is not the way which they have in work compatibility so it might result into a heated discussion 
the compatibility which is worst in terms of social as well as work compatibility is between dominant person and compliant person. Dominant person is task oriented and compliant person who is very investigative is very much interested in creating the questions and asking the questions. So in case of dominant and compliant personality, if they work together, their work compatibility is worst and if they are socially interacting with each other together, that compatibility is also worst. Most of the divorce cases, they come out from these two personalities coming together. If we discuss about influential people, if two influential people, they come together, being showy behavior, these two people will enjoy the highest degree of social compatibility. They will be together like soulmates, but if they start working together, their working compatibility is worst. So in most of the cases, if you are socially compatible with someone, you and if you try to go and start a business with partnership and both the personalities are influential, at that point of time, it is likely that your business may close down early. The last compatibility is from compliant and compliant. If both these people, they go together, one is asking question and another is creating question. So there will be a long talks between them and there will be a highest degree of social compatibility. And if these two people work together, they will never achieve their deadlines as they are talkative, they are showy in behavior and they love being interacting with each other socially a lot. So my request to you is happiness comes from small, small sources. Collect those uh, happy moments to cherish in the life. Enjoy the journey which will take you to the destination so that you will enjoy the larger part of your life. Keep on learning the people in and around you, learn their characteristics and enjoy their characteristics to stay happy. Thank you very much.